here to talk with you. Uh, please tell us what your company's name is and what business solutions do you provide? Um, my company is called Sales Cycle um, and we offer a fully transparent integration to the checkout process of any online transactional site. Uh, and what I mean by this is that when it's fully integrated, we're analysing what's going through the checkout process, but more importantly, what's going to be abandoned. When we find out what's being abandoned, we then be able to track the users that have abandoned the carts and then retarget them to boost conversions of lost revenue. Um, do people often react when they receive a message that they can make a purchase based on abandoned carts? Uh, should any discounts or rewards be implemented to persuade customers to buy in such cases? Um, we don't actually offer any incentives on an abandoned cart um, because we believe in not cannibalizing online revenue. If you follow best practice guidelines and take the correct process of personalization and relevant content, you shouldn't, be able to, you shouldn't need to do that. Um, often we see, you know, we've got some really interesting stats on our website. It would be really good if you could go there and have a look at them. But in the fashion sector alone, just talking about the reactions, we normally see, you know, 70% of someone's database is actually abandoning a cart and we'll be able to retarget around 40% of those. And the reactions we get, an instant reaction, will be around a 40% open rate. But then it goes into more um, kind of centralized reactions like click-through rates, more of an interest at around 15% and leading to a 5% conversion rate. Uh, we know that you've got your own unique live campaign dashboard. Uh, what is that and why are you proud of it? Um, our dashboard is completely transparent, so it allows us you know, from a sales perspective, I'm in sales, it allows us to show clients results and show how the, the platform benefits. But go, ongoing, like account management and things like that, it analyzes the complete online activity. So users can go uh, among the actual purpose of the software to recover sales and just have full visuals on their online checkout press, process and sales. It's really intuitive, it's a very good platform. Uh, do you use personalized data? Uh, when making people get interested in the abandoned carts? Yes, yeah, so what we do is um, we um, track what's going along with the abandoned products, but best, pro best practice would say that we send a triggered email within maybe 25 minutes of the abandonment with a populated cart. And what I mean by that is all of the contents in the cart that are originally abandoned, because it's personalized and it's relevant for the client to lead to conversion, that's deep linked into a checkout process to make it completely user friendly. And we also personalise the emails with first name or last name. Um, a little bit of a personal question now. Um, what is the worst advice you've ever been given in business? Pitch your price first. Okay. Okay, so what is Sales Cycle going to do in the future? Um, so we're looking at more advanced functionality that we've already done. Um, and I mean, it's the kind of thing that, you know, when you come and see us and you have a look, I'll show you the more advanced functionality. But going among that, it's all about dragging the raw data out of the platform and the intelligence that we've collected, putting that back into multi-channel campaign management suites and doing things like psychographic segmentation. So the next level of email marketing, direct marketing, is where we can go and segment based on attribute and all of the data that we've collected from our module to create um, a single customer view and start to predict the future in regards to sales. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Uh, please do watch the interview at bizteams.com.